Hey everyone, this is Rob at Mr. Robot Shop. I uh, want to take a video. Uh, Dylan and I just kind of redid the store. We uh, kind of cleaned it up a little bit and simplified everything. Here's a uh, rack of all the uh, all-in-one computers at the top and then the six laptops and the uh, towers at the bottom. Got some accessories like mice and laptop power cords, telephones at the top. Yes, telephones, old school, like cordless and wired, so. And then on this rack, we've got our monitors, video cards, uh, routers, cooling pads for laptops, uh, wireless mice, and we've got the rock candy mice and uh, keyboards. We also have the Logitech wireless mice keyboard combos. And at the bottom, we have printers. And then this is pretty cool here. We actually have a uh, gaming tower section. The uh, stereo and speakers are at the bottom where we can play music and the, uh, the video games through the uh, amplifier. And then on the right, we got the modern day gaming tower. And then on the left, we got the uh, DOS box gaming tower. So the TV on the top there will hook up to the DOS box. It's currently running Wolfenstein 3D. And then, uh, of course, we got the uh, Zelda backpack. Over here, we've got the NES games at the top. 360 consoles, various generations, controllers. And then we've got some PS3 consoles, Sega Saturn, Turbo Graphics, the uh, PS3, PS4 wireless controllers. And then down here is just kind of a hodgepodge of closeout stuff. Uh, just cheap stuff I want to kind of get rid of quick. And then we got rid of our kind of big ugly display. These cabinets actually came from the Radio Shack in Waynesville that they just recently closed. Uh, makes the store look quite a bit uh, bigger, more spacious. I've got all the uh, handheld games in here. The uh, Sega Game Gear, Superboy, Nintendo, all the handhelds, PSPs. And then down here, I moved all the uh, Super Nintendo. These are going to be the more expensive SNES games. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the corner over here, we've got PlayStation 1 games. Again, the more expensive ones. There's some of the box sets. And I got some of the more expensive uh, Dreamcast games and a few of the PS2 uh, games over here. They're a little bit pricier. And then we kind of clean up all the wire section, all the old coax cords and adapters we didn't really sell very much. Those are in the back now. We've got the uh, 60 and one arcade game. There's the uh, Sega Genesis in a box. Don't find those too often. It's actually a very clean shape. PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360 games. There's all your cables, accessories. Super Nintendo N64 games. And over here we've got the other consoles, Nintendo, Dream, uh, Dreamcast, Sega Master System, the Atari 2600, uh, the Intellivision. Down here we've got some speakers, video controllers, there's some cases, and then the power and video cables. Uh, here are the Retron systems. I just got a bunch of the Retron 2s and 3s in for Christmas. There's some protecting, protective cases for your Nintendo game cartridges, the uh, NES, N64, and Super Nintendo. And then we've got the uh, Star Wars Xbox 360. That's actually on a punch board. It's a dollar a try, and once those all sell, somebody's going to win that. That's a Retron 2. That'll play the... Uh, Super Nintendo and the NES consoles, or games, I'm sorry. And then we kind of clean this up down here as well. N64 games on the bottom. Some of the uh, GameCube, Wii games, Sega Genesis. Again, these are all the more rare games, more expensive. In the middle shelf, we've got the NES games. A couple of the Game & Watch handheld games from the 80s. 
Um, those are not for sale. They're actually my own personal collection, but I kind of like to have them in the shop just to part of the history of the games. And we've got the uh, Game Boy Advance games up here. 3DS, DS games. Here's your uh, po a lot of the Pokemon games. Game Boy Original, Game Boy Color, more of the Game Boy Advance games here, the Pokemon. So that's about it. I just wanted to kind of proud of all the work that we did in the last uh, week. It just looks a ton better in here. And I want to, Dylan, if you watch this, I appreciate all the help. You're doing a real good job. He came from Radio Shack and just knows what he's doing and uh, just big help so I do appreciate it thumbs up to you so anyways thank you for watching do a thumbs up on the video subscribe folks have a good weekend take care